Hey, this is Gosling and Platt Sleep Channel, and today I'm going to be showing you a few really good custom classes on Modern Warfare 3. Um, I just want to say now, I apologize for the bad camera quality, because I'm using my hand, um, well, my iPod. Um, I will be getting a camcorder for Christmas, it's very close now, um, and yeah. Also, these custom classes what I found find easy and good to use. The guns, what I use, I find quite easy. Um, you guys may not find so, so please don't like send any hate comments because you don't like the custom classes. These are the classes what I use or my brother uses because he sometimes uses by account. Okay, I've got um, a few classes here. I've got five to default five. Stealth, close range combat, long range, uh, all over and kill and live. So I'm going to show you what my stealth class is. Um, my stealth class is basically a UMP45. Um, I haven't well, normally I have a silencer on my UMP45, but I'm using a hybrid scope because I've been trying to get attachments for it. But basically, on the UMP45, you want to have a silencer with long range attachment right there because you want to be able to get people from a range and you don't want to weaken your range by using a silencer. The secondary gun I recommend using is the FMG 9. Um, this is a very good gun, it's like a submachine gun. Um, I haven't really used it that much though. Um, and the rest is really up to you, but I like using Semtex, con Concussion Grenades, Sight of Hand, Hardline and Marksman. Um, it's up to you whether you use them or not, um, that's what I use. Um, and my killstreak supports are, here we go right there, um, Sam Turret, Recon Drone and Ballistic Vest. Um, I have got many other YouTube videos about this, class setups and stuff, so I recommend going and have a look at them. Okay, now we're moving on to my close range combat. This is the PP90M1 uh, submachine gun, extremely good. I use it with a silencer with a range um, attachment like I use with the UMP45. This is a really good close range gun, only for close range though, not that great. Um, the secondary gun can be anything. Uh, I have this gun, the XM25. Um, I don't use it, but it's a really good gun. It's like a cross between a Sniper and a grenade launcher. It's like if you've ever played the campaigns, the first grenade launcher on the campaign. If you haven't unlocked this secondary gun, my kill streaks are basically the same, um, but except from yeah, steady aim instead, um, and the kill streaks are all the same. Death streaks different though. Um, okay, that's that kill streak there. I mean custom class. Next we have the long range. This is basically an assault rifle for CM901 with red dot. Um, that's basically it. My secondary gun is a scorpion. I use a frag grenade, flash grenade, a slight of hand throw, quick draw pro, and sit rep. Um, and everything else is really the same. This is a really good gun for long range. Um, it looks pretty cool when you're reloading. Very useful gun. Um, it's really good using a silencer or red dot. So if you don't like a red dot, try it with a silencer. Um, Okay, that's my sort of long range class as I call it. Um, this is my all over class. This class I um, I absolutely do really well with. Um, I haven't got anything decent with it so far because on my old pre I I am Prestige 1. And before I Prestige I had this gun in gold camo, had everything for it. I have the M4A1 with red dot with a kick attachment. Um, that's basically what I have. Really good gun, good with science stuff, a st really good stealth weapon. Oh, sorry about that, finger in the camera. Um, really good stealth weapon. Um, the red dot sight is really good on it as well. Or holographic is amazing with it as well. This is used on the first campaign mission. Um, I recommend the handgun as the second so you can swap fast. And then I just have Semtex, Dead Silent, Hardline Pro, Sight of Hand Pro sort of thing. I always use Sight of Hand, Hardline, um, stuff and per attachments like that. Now my next class is kill and alive and live. Sorry, um, this one people may not like, but I ha I haven't really used this class. I did on my old profile um, before I prestige, and I used to get a lot of kills with this. I just haven't used this class yet because I haven't really been that long prestiged. Um, but yeah, um, I have the G three six C assault rifle, and I have the riot shield. And that's basically it. Um, I've only unlocked the G three sixty, so I haven't really used it that much or the right shield because I don't like using right shields. 
Um, I have Extreme Conditions, Overkill of course, have them both on, and Stalker Pro and the um, attachments and death, well, kills you can death streaks are the same. This kill class, I'm going to explain why you have a riot shield as your secondary. Basically, you have this assault rifle, and assault, you can change the assault rifle if you like. Basically, what you do is when you play kill confirmed, basically, what this allows you to do is when you're picking up all them um, tags along the floor, if you get shot at, you can lay down and you're protected, and no one can really kill you unless they hit you in the head or the legs. Or when you're running out um, to go and grab some dog tags or anything like that, if someone tries to shoot you in, in the back, the right shield protects you. Um, I never pull the right shield out into, onto my primary weapon, I always have my machine gun out. I always keep the right shield on my back, because um, I just don't like, I don't like using right shields as a primary. Um, I never pull that out, I always have my machine gun out. The only time I have it out is when I run out of ammo, but I normally kill myself with a Semtex or get myself killed, because I don't like using a right shield. Um, but you guys may not like this class, or set up, but you got all these custom classes to choose from and other many other combinations you got a really good stealth class, another stealth but close range a long range class, this is quite a good stealth one as well this one's quite a good stealth as well at long range and overall any, anywhere and then you got the kill and live one what's basically good for kill confirm um, okay um, remember guys to rate um, comment, um, rate, comment and subscribe and tell me what you think um, okay, thanks for watching this Girls Fat City channel and see ya.